I wish to re-emphasize the need for you to restore discipline across all ranks in your command. As often said, discipline is the bedrock of policing, and any officer that lacks this value is a threat not only to the force but to the nation. You must, as field commanders, exercise firm supervisory ability that will not only enhance discipline and professionalism, but also strengthen operational efficiency. You must all be in your feet to attend to the conduct and welfare of your personnel on the field. Armchair police leadership is no longer acceptable. Hence, you must undertake constant tours of your divisions and lecture your personnel and forward reports to that effect to the Office of the Inspector General of Police. In addition, I have noticed that most of you still allow your officers to unnecessarily and dis indiscriminately impart vehicles at police stations. Police facilities are not junk yards and must not be torn to work. Indeed, such acts create vulnerabilities which often engender tax attacks on our facilities accordingly. I tell you to return your, to your commands and take care of a major operation to clear all such indiscriminately impounded vehicles of your stations. The compliance of this directive shall be confirmed in the course of my ongoing tours to your commands and any departmental head, zonal commander, commissioner, police or unit head that is found wanting will be dealt with. I have also received reports of the abuses associated with the use of SPY plate numbers and the treated classes. For the avoidance of doubt, SPY plate numbers are for official use of some categories of corporate bodies, while tinted glasses permits are issued under some statutory regulation. Unfortunately, several individuals have of late turned the use of spy plate numbers and tinted glasses into a status symbol and have fraudulently obtained such. There have been also reports that some criminal elements are also utilizing them as cover for their nefarious activities. Accordingly, henceforth the insurance of spy plate numbers and tinted glasses permits are hereby suspended. The existing authorization are being reviewed and the protocol to regulate the insurance of such permits will be evolved. In due course, an enforcement mechanism that will enforce the standardized process of issuance of SQL plate numbers and tinted glasses will be implemented across the country. The Nigeria Police will work closely with the leadership of the Rural Road Safety Commission in this regard. An emerging trend in Hutisan notaries cover their plate numbers has also been noticed across the country. This practice inhibits our law enforcement operations and hence is intolerable. Consequently, commissioners of police are tasked to, as part of their operation, to arrest any motorists involved in this regard. In line with my speech during the launch of Operation Restore Peace, all commissioners of police across the country are to review and strengthen security around all command headquarters and other police stations in their jurisdictions to their duty deterring and repairing any attempt, any attempt to attack such facilities. Nigerian police assets are critical national security assets which must be defended against insurrection and assaults as provided for in section 33 subsection 2 F to C of the Nigerian Police Constitution. Sorry, of the Nigerian Constitution. Furthermore, I have been receiving reports that some commissioners of police are still allowing the mounting of roadblocks in their jurisdiction. For the avoidance of doubt, roadblocks under any description or lines remain banned across the country, and any officer found to be contravening this order will be held liable and dealt with firmly. The society has reported as law enforcement operatives, we must align our policing strategies to these social dynamics particularly at this time that our policing functions are being built on community policing model in which the citizen interests are prioritized. Roadblocks 
as the policy model is becoming obsolete and unacceptable. Hence, we are working towards enhancing our intelligence-led and technology-driven policing capacity, as well as strengthening the safer highway modernized patrol scheme as an alternative to roadblocks. Therefore, you are tasked to ensure that deployments within your commands are reviewed and your operations align to this new policing for approach, which discourages the disposition to limiting the liberty of citizens through road blocks, which are known to be avenues for corrupt tendencies and other vices that widen the trust gap between the citizen and the police. The ex-call and monitoring unit have been mandated to commence a special operation across the country to enforce this directive. The June 20 Democracy Day celebration is days away. We are currently reviewing the security situation with a view to ensuring a hit free exercise. Details of this will, part, will form part of our discussion in this conference. I must, however, remain, remind you all of the need to remain civil with law abiding citizens, but firm with any person or group of persons that may wish to take advantage of the event to threaten our national internal security order. 